Hi guys, in today's video I will be showing you how to replace the battery of MacBook Pro 13 inch 2015. So let me show you what it looks like on my computer first. What the battery message look like before you have to actually replace your battery. So if I click on battery percentage here, you can see that it says service battery. And if you go to Apple logo, click about this Mac, click on system report. On the left, you click on power. Down here, look at the condition. You say service battery, which means it needs to be replaced as soon as possible. Let's see the remaining capacity of this battery. I have an app called Coconut Battery. It will show you the battery percentage and the remaining capacity. So you can see here the design capacity, which means it comes from Apple. It's 6,400 milliamp. But my battery right now, the full charge capacity is only at 4,000. 254 milliamp which means it has depleted close to 40 percent already right now the capacity is only at 64.9 percent and if we click on battery info here you can see that this battery is already 2.8 years old so that's the time when i installed it almost three years ago so let me demonstrate how to replace the battery now so you just shut your computer down and you're good to go these are the tools you might need during the process of replacing the battery and it should be noted that most of these come included in the box when you purchase the battery except for the alcohol so the alcohol is used as the adhesive remover and make sure that the alcohol that you use have to be at least 97 percent alcohol and here's the battery so without further ado let's get into it so we'll start with all the screws here first these pantalobe and torx screwdrivers come included in the box when I purchase the battery. One's gonna be used to remove the screws here, and the other two will be used to remove the screws inside. So we'll start from this side. What I'm using here is a pantalobe P5 screwdriver. It looks a little bit dusty here because I haven't opened it for a few years. So I need to clean the dust first before I proceed to removing the battery. So the first thing that you need to do first before you start doing anything else is to detach the battery connector, which is located right here. Now the battery connector has been detached. It's time to start cleaning the dust. I will be using these ear cotton swab, wet with alcohol to start cleaning. Next, we need to remove both speakers first before we can remove the battery. We'll start with the right speaker first. The connector to the right speaker is under this metal protected cover here. So we need to remove it first. Now you need to detach the logic board connector. Now detach the right speaker connector. Now you can peel off the cable and remove the speaker. Now it's time to remove the left speaker. Detach each connectors right here. Now you can remove the left speaker. Now we need to detach the keyboard and trackpad flex cable. First, we need to remove the connector at the top of the battery. Next, we need to remove the ZIF connector below the battery to freely detach the whole flex cable from the logic board. First, peel off the small plastic piece covering the connector. Now pry open the ZIF connector clamp, like so. Now you can start peeling the cable from the top. Do it slowly and gently to avoid damage to the flex cable. And do not peel it all the way through. Peel it close to the edge and stop. Because the zip connector is still attached to its socket, so we have to remove that first, like so. Now there's one final screw right here, holding the battery to the housing. Now it's time to remove the battery. I'll be using one of these plastic cards. It is thin and strong, 
so that it's easy to get through small spaces to remove the battery. Because this is the third time that I replaced my MacBook Pro battery, the adhesive is not very strong. So the plastic card can cut through the adhesive easily. You may use some kind of adhesive remover. Like in my case, I use 97% alcohol to inject between or below each battery cell. We need to peel off another battery cell before we move to the left-hand side battery cells. Similarly, on the left-hand side battery cells, we only remove two battery cells. Now it's time for the middle two battery cells. The middle ones are usually the toughest one because they contain more adhesive. Inject a fair amount of alcohol onto the card, it will flow down to beneath the battery. And wait between 5 to 10 seconds before you start inserting the card deeper under the battery cells. Add additional alcohol if necessary to loosen the adhesive. Now all the battery cells have been detached. Let's remove the whole battery pack from the housing. That's the battery. I've been using this battery for about three years, but it only cost me less than $50 to replace it, so it's worth it. So we have to remove the remaining adhesive first before we put in the new battery. Now it's time to install the new battery. So we have to remove the plastic covering the adhesive first. Now let's stick it to the housing. Make sure it stays in the center before you press on each battery cell to get it stuck into its place. Now it's time to screw it back in. Now you can peel the plastic covering the battery on the other side here. Now reinstall your left speaker. Now reattach the speaker connector. Now reinstall the right speaker. Now reattach the speaker connector. Next, reattach the logic board connector. Now it's time for the keyboard and trackpad flex cable. We should start from the side with ZIF connector first. Once again, be gentle with this side, it's very fragile. You may break it accidentally, so you have to push it in gently and carefully. Now push the clamp down to close the ZIF connector. Now stick the plastic piece covering the ZIF connector back. Now stick its flex cable on top of the battery. Now stick the connector on its other end to the logic board. Now it's time to reattach the battery connector. Now screw the metal piece, protected the logic board connector back. Now let's test if our replacement worked properly. As you can see the Apple logo there, it means that our replacement is a success. The battery now is at 96%. My trackpad and keyboard also work properly, which prove that I have connected its cable properly. If your keyboard or your trackpad doesn't work, try detaching the cable and reattaching it to see if it works. Now shut the computer off and screw the rear cover back in. Now it's done, let's open the Mac to check the new battery detail. Now it's time to check the replacement battery that we just installed. So you can see here the battery percentage is at 96% and it doesn't show battery service anymore. And if you go to about this Mac, system report, go to power and you can see right here that the capacity right now is 6698 milliamp condition normal for some reason the cycle count is two i have no idea why it was supposed to be the new battery that hasn't been used yet but it shows that it has been charged twice maybe it has been charged from the factory to test the battery for some reason now we go to coconut battery to see what it looks like 
you can see right now so the design capacity is 6600 milliamp and my battery fully charges at 6698 which is a little bit more than apple regional battery and if you take a look at battery info this battery was manufactured in 2024 on july the 9th which means it was 103 days ago to be honest i bought this battery and keep it for a while because my previous battery was still okay but up to today it shows the service so i have to replace it that's why it's already 103 days old but everything looked okay in this situation hopefully the battery would last me a few years before i have to replace it for the newly replaced battery it is recommended to calibrate it first i have included the link to actually download this manual for how to calibrate your newly installed battery so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video